Well, as the story goes, back in the late 60s, a government biologist by the name of Gardner Bump used a fish hatchery to introduce an exotic species of bird to the local Georgia wildlife. That bird, the Burmese red jungle fowl. Now, although its survival proved disastrous in that particular habitat, many of its offspring found their way to nearby Fitzgerald, Georgia. And so began the 40-year love-hate relationship between the residents of Fitzgerald and their uninvited guests. A quiet, quaint little town, Fitzgerald is nestled away in southern Georgia, just about 90 miles north of the Florida state line. Population, around 9,000. Chickens not included. They don't allow us to count the chickens in the population, but uh, in, a, in a comparison test, I'm not sure that they're not gaining on us. Although no official census has ever been taken, Fitzgerald Mayor Mark Massey estimates that the number of free roaming chickens is in the neighborhood of between two and 4,000. And as the mayor of Fitzgerald, it's his job to instill peace and harmony, humans and fowl included. Hence, residents of Fitzgerald must abide by a few simple rules. You're in a car, chickens in a crosswalk, who has the right of way? Uh, the chickens got the right of way in all circumstances. So uh, just, just know that uh, you give the chickens as much room as they need. Mm -hmm. Chickens in your yard, private property, messing with your flowers. Who's got the Who's got the right of way there? Uh, you can run them out uh, if if you think you can do that, but that's as far as you can go. <laughs> and let me tell you, these chickens are no dummies. On a hot summer day like this, temperatures in the mid 90s, sweat dripping off you. These little birds are spending most of their time in the shade, so getting these things on camera is nearly impossible. Nevertheless, the hunt was on. It's hard for these chickens to survive here, but they've done it. And that's, that's mostly why I got involved. Meet Jan Gelders. Around Fitzgerald, Jan is known as the chicken's caretaker. In fact, if it wasn't for Jan, the Fitzgerald chickens might be nothing more than a distant memory. In 2004, she led the charge in a campaign to avoid having all the chickens removed. Those were tough times. The town was divided. Back then we would call it the chicken fight. And it really was. And there were people that hated them and people that liked them. And we had newscasters from all over and the Associated Press was doing stories that went all over the country about this fight that this little town had between people that hated them and people that loved them. We went to city council with petitions and the people that loved them won out over the ones that hated them. I think since National Geographic and Southern Living and the Audubon Society has been interested in stories about these chickens, it's protected them and made people aware that even though they may not be the pure red jungle fowl, that they retain some important traits and also bring a lot of people to Fitzgerald. Jan, however, isn't alone in her never-ending quest to raise awareness for the Fitzgerald chickens. Husband Winfred is pretty passionate about the little critters, too. Just down the driveway from the house Winfred and Jan live in sits the chicken house, a personal creation of Winfred's and his labor of love. Well, this was an old house. It was one of the first houses built from the settlers that came from Minnesota. Later, when I built my other house, I rented this for a while and, and uh, then I decided when I retired I didn't want to rent it anymore and, and I, I was remodeling it and I said, I think I'm going to call this the chicken house and I know Jan like that. So I told Jan, I said, well, we're not going to rent it. This is going to be the chicken house. So it went from there. I've really observed these wild chickens for over 20 years and quite recently I've gotten into photographing them myself and documenting what they do during the day, at night. And it's very interesting. They're not like your everyday chicken. And they're very intelligent and, and they survive. 